Hi everybody, today we're going to go ahead and replace this door latch. It hasn't been working properly for the last couple of years. Stay tuned. We're back here again today. We're going to be replacing this. When, in one of our voyages, the door got the wind caught the door and slammed it shut and broke our, our bolt our bolt lock so that it doesn't work properly. It goes in and doesn't come back out. We had to take the thing apart to get it to be able to open the door. And we've kind of blocked this so that we don't use that and lock ourselves out. But today we're going to replace it with an RV lock. Um, all we really need is a screwdriver and we'll go ahead and take it apart. On the inside of the door there's three three screws. We take them out. Like I said we've had it apart so I kind of have a feeling that it's not going to be hard to get it apart the rest of the way again. These three screws on the inside of the door come out and hold the front plate on. Then on the very front, on the end of the door, there's two screws on there that hold the hold the thing in. We're going to go ahead and disconnect them. Remove the um, the five screws. This plate comes out. So we have this plate that comes off of it. This is the inside. We open up the door a little bit. And this should come right out like that. This is our new RV lock. It's got a digital um, pad so that we can punch in numbers to unlock the door. We have keys that we can so we can unlock the, the door by, with keys. Or we can use a key fob to open it up. Before we purchased it, we measured the, the opening so that we could get the opening that's inside for the to make sure that the latch would fit. Um, there's many, there are a bunch of different choices. Make sure that you do measure it before you go ahead and pick the one that you that's for you. Okay, we're gonna put the two new screws in that come with the the latch. I can get them to line up. Okay, now we plug this in. This is a battery pack in the back on the back handle that you can change the batteries out or whatever. The battery packs there. We're going to connect the um, the wires together. Hear it beep. We tuck this inside, and we have to line up our. No, they got to be. They have to line up with whatever these are. Oh. I would have to say that the hardest part of this whole thing was to get these to line up with the the um, pegs on the inside so that they so that our locks and our everything worked. It just took four hands. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't take long. It just took four hands because you gotta because you're pushing the other side out. So okay, we're gonna go open up the door and look to see that this thing's lined up. You can see because this is rounded off and the other one was square, we're going to have to do a little bit of cleaning after we get it lined up. But it looks So now we're going to close the door and if I get locked in here, I'm in trouble. <laughs> good. Seems to line up good. Can you open it from inside? Nope. Yes, you didn't push. No. <laughs> I usually tear it. I don't, it's like staying open in here. Oh, there we go. It's weird. It doesn't like, it doesn't click like this one did, but you know what I mean? It stays open or whatever. Yeah, push it, push it in again. I want to just try pushing the door open. The door is shut, so. Oh, there we go. Now it did. Okay. Okay. So that thing's on. Originally, we thought we got a strike plate with this, but they said that's optional now, I'm assuming, because people have a strike plate on their campers already, so. I'm going to see but. if this thing, the fob works. Works 
right? Yeah, did it? Did you try pulling the door open when you locked it? What's that? Did you try pulling the door open when you locked it? coming all the way over the lot. Can you open it? No. no. Yep. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got for the um the key fob? Perfect. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try to press the code one, two, three, four and okay. two. Yep. Yep. It worked. Yep. Okay, so we got that lock installed. It took us a little bit because the strike plate wouldn't line up. That's the joys of having a little older motor home that's, you know, not perfect anymore. But uh, we were able to drill out the hole a little bit and move it forward, and now it works perfectly. So we're very happy with the lock. The one thing I'm not really happy about was RV Lock itself. We ordered this directly from RV Lock. Um, you can see the package is pretty beat up when it came. These locks are only plastic. This is all they shipped it in. They put this box inside of here and you can see it got all ripped up. And we paid $16.99 for shipping, I think, to have this shipped. You know, it wasn't free shipping or anything like that. Um, this was packed in a, a little bit of a uh, bubble wrap itself too, but like I said, the package ripped open and it got boxed around and the uh, the box wasn't totally sealed up when it came. Um, the other thing with the shipping was they said it was going to be here in two days and it didn't come when it was supposed to be delivered. I contacted RV Lock I think the next day or a day after when it was supposed to be delivered, just giving it a day or two, and I contacted, sent an email to RV Lock and they responded back and they said basically, sorry, uh, we don't know and we'll check into it and then they never contacted me back and it took another five or six days to finally get the lock. A little disappointed in that, a little disappointed in their customer service because if I emailed them and asked them where my lock is, they should probably kind of know and not push it off on me and say, you know, go check out USPS and ask them where your lock is. You know, and then they said they would check on it and I didn't get any response whatsoever. So. Other than that, I mean, we are happy with the lock. Um, they are expensive, but get you, you know that's what it is, and you know everybody recommends them, and so far we're happy. Hopefully, it'll everything will stay lined up when the weather changes, and we'll be able to have many years of use with it. All right. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and share this out to your friends. Let us let them know, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. We thank you, and we will be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.